Hello students, welcome to Robotics Era. In this tutorial, we will learn about another type of switch which is called as self-locking micro DPDT switch. This is the switch which is a self-locking. If you will see my finger, I am going to push it. See it is locked. Now, if I push it again, it will release itself. Just see it again clearly. I have pushed it. Okay, now pushing it again. It will release the spring inside the switch okay so now if you see the this switch from the bottom side you'll find there are number of legs three to this side three to this side total six number of legs in a switch now again as we have seen in the tactile switch we have to again find a kind of notch now if you if you see this portion this white portion or this portion okay this is a kind of differentiating part from here if if you see it clearly like uh, this is again acting as a notch if i take this line this line as a line then these three terminals are different and these ter three terminals are different it means there in there is no any connection between these six parts of one three parts of one side and these three parts of another side okay students now how we have to insert this switch if you will take this switch directly then what i said these two terminals are not connected to these two terminals means we cannot connect the switch in this way <laughs> like okay if i'll connect it this way then what will happen my this three terminals will be connected together in a single line and this will make the switch not working properly okay so whenever we have to connect we have to take the switch in this manner so that these three, three terminals will be in the different columns okay now how you have to connect if you try to connect this this switch like this okay then what will happen the three terminal of this side the three terminal of this side okay and three terminals of this side are parallelly connected means earlier this this part is not connected to this but now this part will be connected to this this middle pin will be connected to this middle pin and this side pin will be connected to this side pin if i insert it like this okay but if you will use in the two different halves of a breadboard like this then they may act as a different parts okay then you can make the different connections with this switch but when you try to insert it will not you will not be able to insert like this then in that case what you have to do you have to just push the legs outwards and then try okay then it you will be able to connect these three terminals to this side and these three terminals to this side okay now first of all let's see with the breadboard and multimeter that how the connection is exactly for that i'll take the two switches to make you understand see i am taking this this switch this i am taking this this portion towards my right and i am going to keep it like this see i have not inserted the second side to this side because my switch was losing now again i am going to take another one now to this side okay so that you can easily see the connections now i'm going to make these two switch in a pushed position now again check with the multimeter take the multimeter set your multimeter at the continuity position and then try to check your switches now what you have to do you have to first insert first leg of your 
flop in the first spin and second to second you will see a beep sound okay which means when you push it these two pins are to touched now first and last this is not touched second and last again this is no, not a connection what i suggest take the middle pin as a common okay then it will be easier for you to understand see i am going to take this now if i'll push it it is in a pushed position now if you will check the first and second you will see the sound you will see the second and third you will not be able to listen the sound now it release the lever you will see second and third are now connected okay in the same way this switch is representing the other side i am going to put my prop on the first and second okay first and second see beep sound is there but if i again choose the second and third then in the push position it will not work now in the pull position second and third are connected you can hear the beep sound okay so this is how my switch is connected now let's start making a circuit with this switch first of all you have to insert the switch on the breadboard like this i have not used the second portion in the breadboard because it because it will be easier for you to understand how this one portion is working now as you can see one two three pins are attached in this way now i have to make a simple circuit so of making a simple circuit what we do we will take the connection from the positive end of the led i am going to shift the positive to this side of my breadboard okay now i will take the positive from this portion and now i'll keep it here in the middle okay what i have connected i have given the positive supply to the middle of the the switch middle pin why i am considering the middle middle pin as a common here now i have to use the other terminal now positive is connected let's make the connection for negative terminal i'll take the negative terminal from here okay from this this negative side now take the led first insert the led in this terminal first terminal and second terminal which was a negative of the led to anywhere on the bread now let's insert the negative with the negative as you can see this is the push position and your led pull position and your led was glowing now push position it, it makes it off now again see it in pull position see it clear, clear, clearly in pull position it is glowing and in push position it is locked and it is off now let's see the third terminal I am going to take out the LED from here and insert the positive terminal to the third pin of this switch like this and then take the negative terminal from here and giving it to here. Now opposite. In the push stage it is glowing and in the pull stage it is off. Can you see the difference? It is on and it is off. Now let's use two leds for making the same circuit i have taken one more led with me to understand the function of these two pins simultaneously now take the another negative from here as we have connected the positive common and take this second led it's positive here and negative anywhere now first led is plus is connected to first pin and this yellow led is positive is connected to third pin now take the another negative as you can see red led is glowing when this is switch is in full position now switching it on like pushing it once it will on the 
second LED making the first stop. Now remove your switch like push it again then it will make it on. So you can make the flip flop kind of circuit by using this switch. Okay. Same thing you can do to this side also. Now let's make the switch in a different way. What will happen if you will insert the switch anywhere like this? In the same way this side will also work. Okay. Now if you will insert the switch like this. Okay. Now earlier as I told you these two portion if I am going to show you with this wire like this portion of three pin this black portion and this black portion were not connected now these are parallelly connected as I have told you earlier. Now how you will make the connections? If you wish to see then you can make the connections. Now use this common which is a mid, mid pin. I am going to give the positive to this mid pin. Now as this first pin was working in the same way this, this side will work. Okay. Now the negative terminals you have to give. Again I am going to take this positive as earlier I was using this positive here. Now I am going to use this positive here. You can see I have inserted here. Now take the negative to the negative side and insert it like this. Got it? See, in the same way this LED is working. Why? Because these terminals are connected together. Again if you wish to check this to this side. Now take the connection from negative from here and give it here. Now in push position is going. This is off, on, off. So I hope you understood the concept of this push button DVD lock switch and how you can use this switch in a circuit. We'll meet in the next video with a new type of switch. Bye bye.